all right everyone and peace of Christ to all of you please invite your friends and let us do the good work for today uh, today our topic as you see in the title Islam is not what they say to us at all uh, always we see in uh, CNN uh, Fox News even those supposed to you think that they are a Christian stations but the fact is none of them is a Christian and none of them is saying the truth including what uh, many people think Fox News is better than the rest all of them they are the same garbage all of them they lead you into a propaganda and it is about politics have nothing to do with uh, uh, with reality uh, like now the mood in Fox News is not to attack Russia but when Obama was in office uh, they wanted Obama to launch a war in Russia hypocrite you know garbage in garbage out so they change their opinion depend in their propaganda not depend on the truth so don't take your news from news stations even though it's called a news station isn't it but in fact the news always changed by changing the title or what you need to do change the title even though if the news inside is the same like today Boko Haram killed 30 people but they would not say to us that Boko Haram I mean why you are even called Boko Haram why you don't say the truth that Islam today torture and killed 30 human being in Nigeria the group it's called Boko Haram do you even know what Boko Haram mean I mean even Daesh which is summary of a name they start calling it Isis the Islamic State became Isis why because they are trying to avoid saying the word Islamic State but the fact is this is the Islamic State of Allah so why you call it Isis how an Islamic State became Isis hmm. all of this is in order to avoid saying the word Islam because they don't want Islam to look bad so they try to separate between Isis and Islam and not only that tons of TV stations they launch programs to prove to you that Isis is not Islam when the fact the truth is the opposite if Isis is not Islam that's mean Muhammad is not a Muslim and Allah is not the God of Islam they try to paint for us always an image of a, like a nice building as we see in front of us and some nice trees or somebody wearing white clothes and praying to Allah but this is not the real image of Islam Islam is a religion painted by the blood of a human being not by oil not by colors not by roses and flowers so today we are going to cover the propaganda which we always we see around us many of the Christians they are victims of their own leaders you might even hear someone he claimed to be a Christian Bishop or somebody is you know by, by the way like you know always when we say the word the uh, uh, you know you see a lot of liars they say a Catholic is the one who made Islam when the fact nobody fought Islam as the Catholic but nobody want to say uh, that there's many Protestant leaders they sponsor Islam as an example we have a guy very well known and his name is James White James White he debated many Muslims about the Bible but he defended Islam you know, and he, not only that, he accused anyone who says that ISIS is Islam is a liar. So there is donkeys in every church in the world. It can it can it can be Protestant, it can be a Catholic, it can be etc. It can be there's always there is Judah somewhere. Judah is not a person who belongs to a sect. Judah can be you and me. When we, we betray the truth and we close ourselves with the clothes of a Christian, the same as Judah was doing, that will make you Judah. So Judah can be a Christian bishop, Christian priest, Christian minister who lied to you and he says to you things not true. How many of those we have in our churches who say to us Islamic religion is Abrahamic, which is a big fat lie? 
how many of them even they say that you know I saw uh, somebody posting that uh, uh, in the Vatican one of the council they posted that Muslims will uh, Islam or follower Islam they will go to hell uh, sorry to heaven but nobody want to post that the po the Pope of the Catholic he said too that Muhammad he brought nothing but evil so there is Judas inside the Catholic Church and there's Judas inside the Protestant Church so let us name people by their names not to color everybody so if there is somebody his name is James White who defend Islam doesn't mean does not mean the Protestant they are guilty and if there is somebody even if he is a Pope and he don't say the truth about Islam doesn't mean the Catholic are guilty my friend everyone will pay for his sin as simple as that judge the sinner by his sin which mean from their fruits you shall know them look like maybe we have a Muslim is trying to call us hello hello are you there Uh, okay, this is a person who decided to leave Islam after he left. He watched my videos as I understand from his text. I just saw his text. All right. Hello. Are you there? Hello? Yes, my friend. We hear you. Hello. Well, I guess he is using too much security, I think, uh, to hide his identity. But anyway, uh, I will show you not his name, a little bit of his text. I left Islam after watching your show every day. My VPN now should work. All right. Well, uh, we hope that you can talk to us and you know we pray that you are going to be fine and good we go back to our topic yeah he's saying he just wanted to say hello it's received uh, we have uh, we have a we have a Muslim his name is Faris he is saying to me in Arabic you are just a garbage nothing more uh, you were uh, uh, honored in Iraq uh, he made me Iraqi now uh, but when your brothers the dogs attack Iraq and and you yourself know how they were criminals and you are a criminal you took everything from Iraq and you when you came the chance for you you run away to Europe you are dirty and now you are living in Europe and you know how people there deal with you because they know from your look that you are an Arab but in fact you are far away from being an Arab so this is Faris the donkey is insulting me Abdul just for uh, 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 to, re to remind people for those who attack America I don't at, uh, agree with attacking Iraq by the way but in case you do not know your donkey it is you Muslims who kiss the ass of George Bush to come and attack Iraq go and watch the conference where more than 70 mullah attend that conference kissing the ass of George Bush saying please come and save us in case you do not know Kuwait paid in full for the war against Iraq in case you do not know it was Saudi Arabia Kuwait Emirat Bahrain Qatar they are the one who kissed the ass of George Bush to come and attack Iraq and then when they do come to help you you claim that they are dogs and they are bad and they came to steal when in fact the American because they are stupid as usual they spend a lot of money 
Uh, sorry, my microphone have a problem look like. They spent a lot of money and they did not make a penny from attacking Iraq. Billions and trillions of dollars. Stupid American, they never learned their lesson. And until now, they never learn. It was the American who attacked the Christians in Serbia to help the terrorist Muslims. And the Muslim will not remember that. Taken side by side by ter with terrorists from Afghanistan and terrorists from Albania and terrorists from Turkey and terrorists from Shishenia, all kind of terrorists in the world. And yet the Muslims, they remember only that uh, uh, America attack Iraq when the fact they are the one who invited. So propaganda is a stupid. And by the way, Iraq is not your land. You yourself, you are in occupation and you should get lost out of Iraq. This is the land of the Assyrian and the land of the Babylon. Who are you? What are you doing there? So if you are speaking about America to be in a, a, an occupation, you yourself, you are in occupation. And you just said, mention that you are an Arab. How the Arab can live in Iraq? What the Arab have to do in Iraq? So who is Hammurabi and who is the Assyrian and who is the Chaldean and who is the Aramaic? And who is Abraham? Coward, thief, he claimed that he is the better than us when the fact he himself is a thief and all those countries is not your countries, not even one of them. Iraq, not your country. Egypt, not your country. Syria, not your country. Lebanon, not your country. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, Israel, you took Israel and you call it uh, Palestine. Not your country. Even Palestine is not country if it's called Palestine. Jordan, not your country. Even Saudi Arabia is not your country. Let me try to fix this microphone. I think we have an issue with the cable. So look how they how they lie and they try to fabricate things upside down. They take your home and they rape your women and then they claim that the land is their land. The same as they do today with Israel. Even your Yellow Pages book, the Holy Yellow Pages Quran, saying that Israel is the land of the Jews. If we go in the Quran, we will not find a single place where Allah He says the land is not the land of the Jews. In chapter 5, verse number 21, and you can read many verses before and verses after, you will see that Allah is the one supposedly who ordered the Jews to go and launch a war and take that land. Yes, Abdul. Are you there, Abdul? Abdul, before you call me, say, Inshallah. Because nothing works in this day in the world without saying, Inshallah. The American, when they went to the moon, they have to say, Inshallah, so they can pass the zone of the earth and the, and the, and the heaven. Otherwise, you cannot do it. <laughs> Say inshallah before you call me. People are laughing at you and you and at, at your God, the God of inshallah, who can do nothing to you. So, as you see here, Allah He ordered the Jews, supposedly, according to the Quran, to go and attack that land and take it because Allah He has assigned that land for you. Hmm? Allah is the one who assigned the land, which is Israel, to the Israeli. And then when the Jews refused to kill who live there, and supposedly they are the Palestinian, Allah, he cursed them, and he made them lose their way for 40 years, as we see in verse number 26. Because they refused to go and slaughter those who live in that land. But in the propaganda today, you will see every scumbag in the world saying the occupation of Israel. When the fact, if you want to blame somebody for the occupation of Israel, blame Allah. Yes, Abdul. What's up, dude? Hmm. You want to speak to me as a man or I will hang up on you? And I warn you, if you want to insult me, if you want to insult me as usual, I'm going to insult your prophet. So I'm just giving you a warning. So I'm going to give you a warning too, because you're 
you're you're cursing the prophet you're cursing Allah I don't care you are calling me I'm not calling you if you don't if you cannot handle it don't call me <laughs> it's up to you you insult me I will insult your prophet harshly so uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the 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 warning is delivered now uh, why Allah he promised the Jews to go and take the land which is called the Holy Land Israel do you have an answer Holy for that Israel hmm. Israel, Israel, Israel. What is Israel? Explain. I don't know. Ask, ask Allah. Ask Allah here. Here, Allah. He says to the to the Jews, "Oh, oh, oh, people, go and attack the land, the holy land, which Allah assigned to you." You tell me where is the holy land, which Allah assigned to you? Is that Mecca? Uh, the holy land uh, hmm. was uh, is Israel, Jerusalem, and the holy land is Mecca, Medina. Okay, hmm. Hmm. those so, are all holy lands. You get it. Mm. So Allah, uh, Allah ordered the Jews so to take Mecca. When, when at the time when Islam came as a religion to the Arab, Arab world, mm. that, at that time after Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, mm. and when Muhammad, peace be upon him, he came as a prophet to the to the to those Mushrikeens in Mecca, Mushrikeen in Mecca at that time. Mm. So after that, when Islam grew, and you know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he did Hijrah to Medina, and Muhammad Sallallahu went. You know, after that, you know, all the fights and everything, all the jihad. I don't know if you are listening to my question, my friend. You are talking about things okay, I did not I'm ask you. Ask. I'm so after that, all those Jews and Christians, they accepted Islam. Most of them. Most of them didn't accept most Islam. Most of them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Most of them accepted Islam. Mm -hmm. and, and the Bible that you have now is not the Bible that, that was there at the time of Muhammad, peace be upon him. Mm. So, you get it? Mm. I got it. So, why your prophet, he okay. swear? Why your prophet, he so swear by the Bible? At that time, the Bible... The Bible was a real Bible. Was the Bible so Bible in the time of Muhammad, so in the time of Muhammad, the Bible was real. It was a, it was word of God. Yeah, of course. It okay, that so that's mean. What is the need of Muhammad to come if the people are not corrupt and still they are following the the, the true Bible? Then, okay, listen. People at that time they were not uh, they were not following uh, they were not following the teaching of uh, Torah and uh, like what and the Bible. Okay. Like what are you following the teaching of the Torah? I am. I am. Listen. Okay. So do you, do you do you respect the Sabbath? Isn't that your faith? Isn't that your faith that uh, that, that as, it's, as it's stated in your Bible, mm. that the Lord of the Lord of uh, the Lord of um, Israel and the Lord of mine said so Jesus is mine is one Lord. Okay. Mm. Is that your faith, right? Mm. And you get it, right? Mm. So if you if Jesus is saying that my my Lord and the Lord of Israel is one, what does that mean? Is that make Jesus a God or prophet? Mm. You see, you are jumping like a monkey from place to place. When Jesus, no, he said, you, "You don't." Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. You are trying to divert. I ask you about Jerusalem, about the Jews being ordered to go and take Israel, and look where you end. Now, let me answer you. Let me answer you. Okay, are you going to let me talk, or you want to scream and shout and go jump? Ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Jesus, you know, when we, when we, when Jesus speak, he don't take. We don't take a sentence. We say Jesus said this only. You have to take what he said before and what he take after. So, do you accept what is mentioned in that chapter, all of it, or you accept only that sentence? I only accept that sentence. Oh, who who are you to accept this sentence only? So either you, so but, that's me. You are a hypocrite. That's me. You are a hypocrite. So I can show you now in the Quran. It says <laughs> I can show you right now in the Quran. The Quran says don't so pray. Who are you to accept? I can Quran show you. I can show you. You, you see, you are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite kid. You have no dignity and you have no honor. Either you say I accept what Jesus says in that book, or you say I accept only a sentence, and this is the only sentence. This the Quran says to you. Uh, and then I can stop. Can I say that sentence only? If the Quran says don't pray? No, you, can, you have to read the whole sentence. Here we go. So you have to read the whole thing. So when you want, you have to read the whole thing. When you want, you don't have to read the whole thing. So you are a hypocrite, and that's why we call you hypocrite. And every Muslim is a hypocrite so first, until he proved the opposite. Hypocrite. First explain hypocrite. What is a hypocrite? Hypocrite is, a, is a, somebody is a Muslim. He go and he pray in the corner, as Jesus said. Don't be the same as those who pray in the corners. That's what the Muslims do. Don't when you when you when you fast when you fast, you know don't show that you are fasting. This is what the Muslim do. The Muslim if he if he fast and by the way there is no fasting in Islam. It's a joke. He have to tell everybody he's fasting. If he want to pray, hey, brothers, I have to go and pray. He go to the corner. He open the windows of his house and he go to the balcony to pray. So everybody, all the neighbors will see him that praying. And not only that, sometimes even you will see a taxi driver going in the top of his car. So everybody in the neighborhood will say that Muhammad Abdul is a praying. Allahu Akbar. Islam, Allahu Akbar. Islam is a hypocrisy and your prophet is a hypocrite. And we can prove it. Did your prophet, he order the Muslims not to have sex with their wives when they have or not to get close to them when they have their period? 
of course Islam Islam prohibits uh, okay you know so what what your prophet what your what your prophet he used to do when his wives are in period okay so according to our the Sunnah of Muhammad mm. okay mm. Muhammad him used to uh, he used to get closer but he now used to have sex with them you get it he what he used to he used to kiss them mm. he, he could kiss them but he could not have sex with them Mm. Uh, what do you mean kiss yeah. them he do he, he play with them yeah, mm, play. yeah okay he play with them what does that mean do he put his penis between their, their legs no that's that's sex okay you what if, what do you, you do you accept this challenge if I show you if I show you that your prophet you're to do that challenging you with first you, first you <laughs> explain, explain, see here we go you're a coward you're a potato you're a potato okay let us go back to our topic why Allah okay. he ordered the Jews to take the land of Israel and why he said this is land assigned to you this is the question okay. I ask you from the first second this you call me so and, you, the, and, you ref, and you refuse to answer so you switch the topic you upside down which, uh, which eye of the Quran is this you do not know no go 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 and let me know no no I'm so asking you go. you do not know you never heard this before no I heard it I heard this but you have to tell the chapter in the ayah oh uh, okay well I, I I'm trying to remember I do not know really hmm do you want to search Google? No, it's not Google. Go. Do you want to call a friend? It's not a friend. Go. Tell me about. Uh, tell me the surah and the ayah. You are the Muslim, and I am not the Muslim, and you are the one who never heard this before. Obviously, otherwise you would know heard. it. Of course, I have heard. Okay, this what chapter? What chapter? Do you know at least what chapter? I'm asking you. So you do not know what chapter. Asking. You do not know You're what verse. You know nothing. Me, so I have to go ahead and uh, check what it is. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, uh, maybe this is the Eve hadith. There you go. Go mm. ahead. Chapter five, verse number twenty-one. Chapter five. So okay. Chapter five, Surah Al Maida. Okay. <clears throat> so now, just to know the background of Revelation and summaries of subject. Okay. Mm, background. This initial Surah, uh, like surah Al Maida is agreed okay. upon. Surah Al Maida is a Madani Surah. Okay. <laughs> and also the last <laughs> long all Medina chapter Surah was Surah so much so that some some. Elders have identified this as the last surah of the Quran itself. Okay, on the authority of narrations of from Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Umar and Sayyidina Al Maida is the last chapter in the Quran. Yeah, that's mm. what most of the scholars they agree, agree upon on this. Oh, okay. Well, so, I will, I will, a, I, 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 will I will take your word for it. Surah Al Maida was revealed to the Holy Prophet ﷺ while traveling, riding the she camel named Ab, mm. uh, Adaba. As explained in the introduction of Tafsir in Volume One, you see, guys, this guy is re he's reading an article. He is reading an article. I mean, I ask you it's about not, the verse. Why are you going it's to give me all this garbage, man? It's it's stop it's doing it's garbage. Give me the answer. I don't care about anything. Why are your understanding? Hit the topic and stop. Who care about where this verse is given and if this is the last no. verse in the Quran or the, the first? I don't you care said, said, why Allah he ordered the Jews to go and kill the Palestinian and take the land. This is the question. Go ahead. Well, surah, uh, surah, surah of uh, Al-Ma'idah and verse number five, right? Is it? <laughs> Stop laughing. Stop being. If you mm. if you don't want to listen to the background of the surah, mm. okay, mm. and you're trying to go ahead and uh, scream like a donkey. Mm. So what's the what, what's the matter? Of Did, you donkey donkey to me? Oh, Did you say a donkey to me? Did you say a donkey? Did I say to you if you insult me, I will insult your prophet or not? Did I give you a warning? Okay, sorry about okay. that. Okay, did your but prophet marry a woman? Her last name is Donkey. Yes or no? Okay, read. Uh, no, no, no. Did your prophet marry a woman? Her last name is Donkey. Yes or no? Listen. Did your prophet that his last name himself is a dog? Yes or no? You, you wanna you wanna read the See here we go. So don't talk, call me names. I mean, your prophet is a son of a donkey. So the son of a dog, and his wife she is a, son, a daughter of a donkey. And yet you call me do donkey and dog. Don't go there. You have a house made from a glass. Your prophet is a son of a zoo. Now go and answer the, the verse. Why Allah He order the Jews to go and take the land which is called assigned into you, which is the holy land. Go ahead. Which ayah is this? Here we go. Yeah, I'm asking you that. I yeah. told you, chapter 5, verse number 21. 21, okay. Okay. 
O people, my people, enter the holy land which Allah has destined for you, and do not turn back, for then you 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 will turn losers. Okay. <coughs> the saying of Sayyid, this is the saying of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam in the first 20, 20 verse, which has introductory remark to the divine command which appears in the following verse 21 in the word. In the words, O oh my people, enter the holy land which Allah has destined for you. Which is the holy land? Apparently, commentators differ um, among uh, about it. Some say, Are you going to read for me an article? Are you going to read for me an article? Stop reading Google, man. Give it's me the answer. Article. You it's can read. Answer. You I'm, can I'm, read. Everybody can tell you. Are you in an article? Be a man and tell me. Give, give me. Give, give me the cream of of the cook. What is what is the answer? You can read by your this, on your in your this, eyes this, in your heart. Was, give me the was answer. The time of Musa, alayhi salam. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you are very okay. smart guys. He is very smart. This is in the time of Musa. For sure it is Musa who said to them that Allah told him. We know yeah, that. Okay. okay. You are saying why did Allah tell him you are asking this question? Yeah, why he ordered them to go and kill the Palestinian whoever lived there supposedly the Palestinian, right? Allah he ordered the Jews to go and slaughter the Palestinian. Why? Palestinians now? You are talking about nowadays. So the, you're not you, talking you, about back then. You, you got to go back. My friend, my friend, my friend. It doesn't. Something. It doesn't matter. This is a land Allah he assigned to them. No, it doesn't matter. What a change! What a change! What a change! It's the same it people. Allah he assigned this land. Okay, show me. My uh, hold on. It, when Allah he said, is it make a difference between if if Palestine at that time and Palestine at this time? They are a human being and they are called Palestinian. Why we can kill them at that time, but we cannot kill them at this time? Explain to us. Listen, Palestinian. That time there were not Palestinians there. Before there, there was Jews. Ah, okay. and, there was no Palestinian at that. So who are who are who is the one? So it's not Hamas was not there. I agree with you. Those are Arab. Those are not Palestinian. So who is the one was living there? Who was the one living there? Those are Jews. The, the Jews the attacking Jews. the Jews. So, the Jews so Allah he ordered the Jews to go and kill the Jews. Are you talking about are you this, saying this is the time of Musa? Alayhi I know Allah he ordered Musa to go and attack the land and uh, launch jihad on it and take it. Who is the people who live there and why he want to kill them? Why Allah ordered him to go and kill them? Th those, those people are idolaters, they didn't worship Allah. Over okay, there. so Musa if, took so, his, so if if they don't own Jews, okay, Musa took his own Jews back back into the those were the Muslims at that time okay Musa took his they are Jews or Muslims they are Jews or Muslims those were Muslims Muslims so why the Quran now? called them they, Jews why the Quran they, called them Jews why are the they, Quran, why the Quran called them Jews if they are Muslims so we call them Jews because what, what happened to them was they they, they uh they associated partner with Allah Jalla 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 Jalla. Ah, and they said that, okay, but they, he, but during the time of Musa like during the time of Musa they are called Jews said, still in the time you are like a machine in the, during okay. the time of Musa, Allah he called them Jews. Okay. Okay. Allah, so so he they are their name is called Jews even when they are with Musa. So how you say to me because this they start associating with somebody else, Allah called them Jews. This is a false ar argument. And by the way, there's a guy. His name is Mimi Hijab. I don't know if you know him. He said that the Jews for four thousand years they never associate anyone with with the with, with, the, with the only true God for four thousand years since the time of Musa. So, are you saying he's a liar? I didn't get that. Go, go again. I There's a listen. guy, his name is Muhammad Hijab. He was debating yeah. a guy, his name is David Wood. And you can okay. watch the video. He said that the Jews for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, they've been instructed, <laughs> okay. instructed. This is how he said it. I'm just trying to copy the, the, the Islamic <laughs> way. So, for 4,000 years, they are instructed to worship one God only and no one except God. So how you say to me that the Jews they associate with God, other God, if you're a brother, Muhammad Hijab, he says for 4,000 years, they never you know, associate you know anyone. The history behind Jews, right? Jews, they were first, uh, so Jews, first they were under the, they're, they're under the uh, ruling of King Pharaoh, if you know that, right? King Jews who? That time. King who? And when Musa alayhi salam. King who? Musa salam, king, Pharaoh. Who, uh, is, is that the name of the king? Pharaoh, we call him Pharaoh. Okay, what is the name of the king? There's many pharaoh. Which one? We don't. We don't. We don't, we don't mention. Uh, I don't mention the specific name. I'll mention just the pharaoh. Is it, is no, the, the fact, the fact, the Quran think that his this is his name. So the Quran says the pharaoh as a name. Not uh, the Quran does not acknowledge that there is many pharaohs. Most of the people at that time they will call their own selves pharaoh. Pharaoh. No. 
Uh, only yeah. Pharaoh is a king, is a title for a king in Egypt. There's no other Pharaoh. Don't play games. That's what I'm saying. Okay, those, so those but why the Quran do not do not kingdom. know the name of the Pharaoh? The Quran think that Pharaoh is the name. Now, this is not our, our topic. Why yeah. Allah, he ordered the Jews to go and take the land? You say it because they are not worshipping Allah. Is that correct? Of course. At, at, okay. At that so time, you are listen, saying to me. So you are saying to me. So you are saying to me now, Allah. Take, okay. 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 I, okay. I will go with you. I will go with you. Okay. I will go with you. At that time. At that time. At that time. I got it. I got it. I will go with you. So according to you, if somebody don't believe in Allah, we have the right to take his land and to slaughter him. No. That's what you say. I said to you, why That's Allah ordered? What do you mean, Allah? He ordered them. Listen, I asked you why time, Allah. He ordered them. First, I, I asked you why listen, Allah. He ordered you know, them to go. He said at that time those people they weren't worshiping Allah, so we can take the land and we can kill them. So go, go. So you gotta go back to Surah Surah Al Kafirun. What, what does Allah says says in Surah Al Kafirun? I like Al Kafirun. Al -Kafirun. Are you sure you want me to show Al Kafirun? Yeah, go. Go ahead. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't think you will like it. Al Kafirun is the most stupid verse proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Look at this. Okay, say, look what Muhammad okay, say says. Okay. Okay. Say, okay. Okay. Well, yeah, okay. 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 Mm. So say, oh, disbelievers. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. I will go because uh, this uh, I have a you don't remember it. Do you let me? I, I remember it. Oh. Not I worship what mm. you worship, mm -hmm. like we, where we worship, you, you should. Mm. That you worship, we don't worship that, okay? Mm. 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 And not you are worshippers of what I worship, mm. okay? Mm. And, and not I am a worshipper of what you worship, mm. get it? Mm. So if you worship Jesus or someone worship an idol, someone worships a son, we don't worship that. We worship who? Mm. We worship, worship a black stone, okay? No, and not you are the worshippers of what I worship, and mm. you are not the worshippers of Allah, so don't worship, don't worship Allah, you worship whatever you want to worship. Mm. Mm. For you is your religion, and for me is my religion. So follow mm. whatever you want to follow, okay. and let us let, let let us follow what we want to follow. Yeah, but this is a, this is abrogated verse. Abdul, why you are quoting for us? So this is when Muhammad was a potato. He don't have an army. When he have an yeah. army, he changed his mind okay. and he said, "I want to kill you all." Let, let me get you. But said first of all, this chapter proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Why? Because he said, "I worship not what that you worship, but Allah is." Mm -hmm. A, a, a common name between them and both of them they worship the family of Muhammad they worship Allah and Muhammad he worship Allah so how he would say I worship not what you worship isn't it the pagan Arab they worship Allah too they are mushrikeen mushrikeen does not mean they are not worshiping Allah the fact they do worship Allah but they have beside Allah intercession so they have idols little idols like the black stone and they think by kissing it they are getting close to Allah so yes, Muhammad and the pagan, they worship the same God. His name is Allah. Number two, he said, I will worship not that which you worship, nor you will worship that which I worship. And this is a false prophecy because all those who was he talking to, they became later Muslims. Umar al Khattab was against him. Abu Sufyan was against him. Many of those who they are, uh, Khadim al-Walid was against him. So he was saying that to them, but later they became believers. So he made a false prophecy. And then he says, and I will not worship that which you worship. But the fact we know that in the chapter where it's speaking about the satanic verses, that Muhammad, he bowed down and he worshiped the idols. And he said that the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. So yes, he did worship what they worship. And then he continues saying, nor are you will worship which I worship, which is proving that Muhammad have nothing to say. He's repeating the same sentence again. To you, you have your way. To mine, I have mine. To you, you have your religion. I have my religion. But let me show you how funny and stupid, additional to that, this verse. Imagine, I say, all those who you reject hummus, I eat not what you eat, and you will not eat what I do eat, and you will never do eat what I eat, and I will never do eat what you eat because you will not do eat what I eat. I have my hummus, you have yours. I mean, how is stupid the holy chapter to be from God? This is cannot be God. This is a guy. He is having nothing to say. All this, all the, all the chapter is. I don't worship what you worship, and you have your your, your religion, and I have mine. So there is no need for all of this. It's nothing but garbage. Proving to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. And later, when Muhammad had an army, he decided mm -hmm. to kill everybody from his enemy, and he changed his mind. So this is abrogated. So why you are quoting it for us? Okay. So now you, you, the, 
the cause of this revelation and whatever you are saying, it's uh, completely false. Mm -hmm. And I, we, we Muslims don't agree with whatever you say. Okay. So mm -hmm. now, now you have to. Who are you? Who are you to say I don't agree? I'm a Muslim. You are, you are, you are a Muslim. Okay. What about we go to the book of Asbab and Nuzul? Okay, we'll go to the cause of revelation. Okay. Okay. Ibn Ishaq reports from Sayyidah ibn Abbas al the Walid ibn Mughayra, as Ibn Wasil Aswad ibn Abdul Muttalib, and Umayyah ibn al Khalf approached the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi They proposed a compromise to him, and they affected that he would worship their idols for a year. So at that time, the Kafirs they went to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and mm. they told them that you should worship all idols for a year. Mm. Okay. Mm. And they, and they worship Allah for a year, and they mm. told them that we will worship your Allah for a year. Hmm. So this is from Qurtabi, okay? Hmm. According to Ibn Abbas Radran, who is recorded in Tabrani, the pagans of Mecca who posted the message of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, hmm. we shall give you much wealth that you will become the richest man in Mecca. So they told him, they will give you wealth and you will become the rich, richest man of Mecca, hmm. okay? Hmm. And we shall give you whichever woman you like in marriage. And they even told him that whichever woman you like here in Mecca, the beautiful woman you like, hmm. we will give, give you in marriage, hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We are willing to follow and obey you as our leader mm. on the condition that you do not speak ill of our gods. So mm. he Muhammad Sallam, they told Muhammad Sallam that you should not speak, obey, obey us and mm. also do not speak ill of our gods, okay, at mm. that time. Mm. So if you do if you do not agree to this, then let us agree that you worship our gods for a year and we will worship your God for another year. Mm. So this is from Mother, Mother, mm. okay? Right. So Did Muhammad is, agree the, with them? Did Muhammad this, agree? This the, Did Muhammad agree that he will worship their gods? Okay, we're, we're reading now, okay? Hmm. According to Ibn Sali report, said in Ibn Abbas, the pagan of Mecca made the following proposal for, for, for compromise. Give me, give me an answer. I mean, give me an answer. Did he agree or not? Did he agree? I'm not going to read the whole thing. Did he agree or not? Did he agree or not? Did he agree with them or not? He did not agree, no. Okay. Of read with me chapter 22, verse number 52. Isn't it Muhammad, he worshipped down, he bowed down, and he worshipped the three daughters of Allah? After what? Did he Muhammad, did Muhammad, he bowed down, and he worshipped the three daughters of Allah? Okay, chapter what, what chapter is it? Chapter, chapter 22, 22, verse number 52. 22? Hmm. Chapter 22, verse number 52. Hmm. Okay, so, and we sent, we sent before you, before you, hmm. a messenger and hmm. not a prophet, but when he recited through he recited through the shaitan in his recitation, hmm. but Allah abolishes, but Allah abol what but Allah abolishes what throws the shaitan, then Allah hmm. will establish. Hmm. But Allah abolishes his verses, and Allah is all knower and all wise. Okay. It, it is saying that we did not send any messenger before you nor a prophet, but he he faced a situation at that at that when he recited the revelation that Satan kept cast doubts about what he recited mm. so allah nullifies what the satan cast that allah makes his words firm and allah is all knowing and all wise okay mm. so that, let us let us see what happened let us see what happened saying. okay you quote for me the chapter one nine one one zero nine it says that you have your religion i have mine and i will not worship what you worship but what as we see here in chapter 50 22 verse over 52 okay muhammad he bowed down to the three idols of allah the three daughters and he said that uh, the, according to Muslims that shaitan he throw in his mouth and he said the following sentence in his tongue he said these are the mighty grand grants the, the Qurani which means the high-flying daughter of Allah their intercession is hoped for and when Quraysh heard this they were very pleased and then the Prophet he bowed down and all the pagan with him they bow down so Muhammad again is a false prophet. He said, I worship not what you worship, and you worship not what you were I worship. And later we find Muhammad bowing down to the idols of Quraysh, and he is not saying only not only bowing down in front of them, he is saying their intercession is a must. The mic is yours. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm I'm gonna read you the commentary of uh, this ayah, okay? Mm, I'm reading the commentary in front of you, it's in, in the screen. It's a book as Babu okay. Nuzul. Mm. Okay. So, any messenger of and any. This shows that a prophet, 20, uh, verse, uh, chapter 22 and ayah 52, okay? And and the Nabi carried different word Rasul meanings, meaning though there is no consensus as, as the precious nature of difference. Hmm. For our purpose, it is enough to understand is a person whom Allah Ta'ala, Allah, 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 Allah Nabi, that 
not be designated with a mission to reform his people and who receives his revelation from him. He may receive a scripture, a code of law, or he may, he may be commanded to convey a message of an earlier book. And alayhi salam, code, code of law, laws. Sayyidina Musa belongs to the first, to the first, alayhi salam. And Isa, alayhi salam <laughs> My friend, are you going category. to read for me a book? Sayyidina I want Aoun. an answer. What are you doing? Read for me an answer. No, I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading what, no, no, you are reading the whole thing, my friend. Come on, give me an answer. Why Muhammad, he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah. You said to me, the chat of Al-Kafirun is coming from Allah. And Allah is the one who's talking. And he said to him, say, Allah, he's saying, not Muhammad. That I will not, you will not worship what they worship, and they will not worship your worship. But as you see, he did worship what they worship. So Allah Where made a false. That they go down to the three, uh, it says three in the front of you. Three. It says in the front of you. So the, uh, here we go. It's in the front of you on the screen. And all of them, they okay. bow down except the guy. His name is Walid ibn Mughira. He could not bow down because he is so old. So all of them, they bow down. All of so them, they bow down. What, where, what are you reading this from? Though? This is the book of yeah. Asbab and Nizul. We can read from different book, but because this is in English, I'm, I'm trying to show people. We can read it in Arabic too. This is the book of Asbab and Nizul, and saying it clearly that Muhammad he worshipped them and he bowed down in front of them, and then later is, and later. Surah Hajj and Ayah number fifty-two. You are reading that, right? Yes. Am I correct? Yes, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. This is not a private website. At tafsir.com. Okay. Okay. So you're a prophet. He bowed down to the idols and he worshipped them, and he praised the three daughters of Allah, which we, because they are very sexy, and he says their intercession is a must. Otherwise, if they are not sexy, why Muhammad saying their intercession is a must? The mic is yours. So you said that he. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Remember, I'm not saying. It's in front of you. I am not saying. He did. I am not saying. This is your Islamic scholars. This is your Islamic history, and this is your Who's statement. Wait, what's the name of the scholar? This is the book of Asbab al Nuzul, Al Imam Al Wahidi. Right. We can change it if you want, no problem. Okay, go to Ma'arif al Quran. Go to who? Ma'arif al Quran. Read it for us, no problem. But in the front of us, is, is that there's a problem with this one? Listen, for my understanding, Ma'arif al Quran is the easier one to, for the people, for the audience to understand. Is it in Arabic? You get it? Is it in Arabic? It's in English. Uh, this is a moderate thing, right? This is like something written the, the, for years ago. I never heard of this one. What is it called? Ma'arif al Quran by Mufti Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Shafi. What is Mufti Muhammad? Those are the scholars. What Mufti potato, tomato? Give me Zakir Naik too. What is, what's wrong with you? This is Imam al Wahidi. We are talking about people who wrote centuries and centuries ago. The, the, the first, the elder of Islam, not the potato who is going in the YouTube now and, make, and, and making a, a, a false interpretation, <laughs> trying to defend. When, when, you, when, when you quote for me, you see, how come a second ago you said to me you want to read from Al Tabari? Did you read from Al Tabari a second ago? No, I didn't give you from Al Tabari. I no, no, you, you, you from, when you no, go, you I was get, reading from Marif Al Quran. No, no, no. Before you said to me, you said Al Tabari. I, I heard you saying the word Al Tabari. Didn't you say Al Tabari? Yeah, I did say that. Is okay. It the so, so what's wrong it's, with Al Tabari? Why don't say to me Al Tabari? Why don't say to me that the, the, the read scholars? What, what? Who is this guy? So here we go. Yes. This is the book of Asbab and Nuzul. It's in English in the front of us. Okay. And even the Quran confirmed the verse you read for me. It says that Allah will take what Shaitan he throw in his mouth. So the Quran confirmed that Shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. What he throw? That the three daughters of Allah, Allah and Al-Uzza, their intercession is a must. And he bowed down and they bowed down with him. Except one person was there. He could not bow down because simply he is. A very old man, he cannot bow down, and he is a kafir too. So, what, what are make... the names of uh, the three idols that you were talking about? Allah and Al Uzza, here we go. Allah and Al Uzza and Manah the third. When he was okay. quoting that, the devil put in his tongue what he had secretly wished and hoped for and said, These are the might grants, the, the, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is hoped for. Who is the one who said that? Allah. Now, okay. you're Muslim saying that this is not Allah saying the devil, he spoke in the mouth of Muhammad. So in this moment, in, yes, this is says, I'm not saying, why you are laughing, respect your prophet, my friend. It says no, the I'm devil, you, it says, it says, you are just talking out of your mind. it says the devil, it, guys, does it say that or I'm making things, it says the devil, put in his tongue. Does it say that? It's in the screen in front of you. So the devil, he spoke in the tongue of Muhammad. So Muhammad in this moment, he became a messenger of shaitan and he is speaking as an ambassador of shaitan the word of shaitan delivering shaitan's quran and then because shaitan he put in his mouth muhammad he said the following 
He put those words, the uh, the 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 lad al uzza they are the mighty grants, the, the Gharaniq, and their intercession is hoped for. When Quraysh heard this, they were very pleased. Those are the pagan. The Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him, give him peace, carry a, 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 a cried on recitation until the end. Muhammad did not even notice what he is saying of the surah, and he prostrate and all the Muslims uh, uh, who was there and the idolatry protest too. Where let me connect let me connect it to my uh sheikh right now okay uh, okay so he will explain this to you in detail all right and his name will be abdul wadud so you, you you'll have he's uh, a real sheikh or he is uh you know like a guy who opened a barber shop uh, again you, you, you l l l look at your language first you no know? i'm asking you he's a real sheikh i want to know he's a real sheikh of course he's a sheikh yeah. okay abdul we'll wadud sheikh abdul wadud. welcome go ahead okay I'll, I'll, I'll call you. I'll call you uh, in ten minutes. Okay? All right, no problem. Okay. So, guys, he is going to call for us. A sheikh. His name is Abdul Wadud. So we are waiting for Abdul Wadud. As you see, every statement in the Quran is a joke. Compare it together, you will find that there is something wrong and something stupid. How he say, "I will not worship what you worship." And they will not worship what I worship and later he worship and later he bow down and later he praised the three daughters of Allah right there's somebody in the text saying to me don't waste your time my friend I'm not wasting my time who said we are wasting our time all of this is education for all of you so you will learn how to get Islam busted this is not a waste of time my friend don't ever think so all right we are not absolutely not wasting our time it's for the benefit of all so you Christian you learn how to debate them for me I'm really sick of it I do not need to talk about it I'm not even debating them you see the Sheikh is going to come to call me you will see he will not he will he will, he will be I mean I'm not going to say a word will will make him upset but you will see what will happen. Just let us see what he, what he will say. Nobody can debate me, I'm telling you. I'm not doing this to debate. I'm doing this as a training for the Christians. So this is not a waste of time, and this is why we ask people to download our videos and share it around so people learn how to get this cult busted. Islam is a very, very stupid cult. It's very easy to destroy it, but you have to have knowledge, and you have to learn how to work the logic of the Muslim, not your logic. Don't use your logic. Use their logic because your lo their logic is very useful. Why? Because it's very stupid. When somebody he fights you with a stupid logic, it's very easy to get him busted. Use their logic. Now, we are waiting for him to get us Sheikh Abdul Wadud. Please bring, bring your popcorn. Sheikh Abdul Wadud is coming. I am assuming that he have a beard and etc. Yeah, he, this guy he got extremely hot so he said oh, oh this is getting really bad i need to get my master sheikh abdul wadud and now his sheikh abdul wadud he will say to him who what is the name of the guy he will say to him christian prince he said oh no oh no man i i, I am busy i have to go and pick up the grocery now hmm. let us see what if he will call me do you really think sheikh abdul wadud will dare to call me i mean do you who wanna bet who think that Abdul Wadud will not call me? I don't think he will do it. The guy now, he will say, I have to go to Hawaii. Oh, my wife in Indonesia is waiting for me. Oh, my uh, the other, my grandma, Ma, she have a heart attack. Uh, she have to go to the hospital. Uh, I have a pain in the stomach. I mean, you name it. Sheikh Abdul Wadud. He will come if you don't tell him my name. Don't, don't tell him Christian Prince. The same what happened to Shabir Ali. Shabir Ali, he agreed to debate me. We told him it is a Christian guy. I want to debate you on ABN TV. The second they told him Christian Prince, he sent them a long email saying, I am busy with my PhD. And since then, he is busy with his PhD. The same as Mimi Hijab. The same as, uh, I mean, what is the, his nurse? His nurse, what is her name? Uh, Ali Dawa. Uh, the same as, the I mean, all of them. Show me your face. Give me your name.
All right. Well, we will not stay here. We will wait for Sheikh Abdul Wadud to call us. But as you see, going back, when we spoke about Allah, He assigned the land to the Jews. And the Muslim, they say to us that Allah is all knowing, all knowledgeable. If somebody want to be fair and he want to speak logic, if Allah is the one who assigned this land to the Jews, don't Allah knows that later this land will be full of Hamas? Don't Allah knows that the Jews don't deserve it? Don't Allah knows that later the Jews will be coming back to take their land, which is a sign for them? How foolish Allah is to give the Jews a land which they don't deserve, according to Muslims today. Why the Muslim today they call the Jews occupation if this is their land, as you see in the screen? And the funny once I was debating another Abdul Wadud, Sheikh Abdul Wadud Dudi, and I asked him, uh, is Jerusalem the land of Muslims or the Jews? He said, the Muslims. He said, I said, who is the one who built the land? He said, the Jews. <laughs> who is the one who built Jerusalem? The Jews. <laughs> So this is the city of the Jews built by the Jews, but yet this is your land. I mean, have you ever heard of a religion like this? Who is the one who established Jerusalem? Uh, Suleiman. Okay. So you believe that Suleiman established Jerusalem? Yes, we believe in that. So how you say that this is not the land of the Jews? Why the Quran says that Allah He gave the land to the Jews? Oh, at that time He said so. Uh, 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 you know this guy with his name, uh, the speaker corner, the the, the lonely guy, uh, uh, Abbas. Abbas. He said, "You said no one can debate you. Yeah, you cannot. Here we go. Everybody can watch your call for me, and people will laugh at you. You forgot yourself a chromosome X and Y." Just two days ago, we made you read. If you go and watch debates, which recorded between me and you, Abbas, I don't call it debate, I call it spanking, people will die laughing at you. And okay, show me one person who was able to debate me, can you? Like you? Is that you? <laughs> Once there is a guy, his name is Namatullah Mumtaz from Pakistan. He challenged David Wood and Sam Shamoon to debate him. Now, you know, they have a debate in uh, ABN TV, which is a stupid debate. I mean, the format they do there, I don't do this kind of debate because it's not a debate five minutes for you, five minutes. The guy, he say whatever he want. I say whatever I want. People, they sleep. Nobody even remember what they say. It's stupid. There's no debate. Debate is right away, you know, across fire. You said something. I said to you, did you say that? This is a debate. Not five, ten minutes for you. And like, like between uh, Mimi Hijab and David Wood, this is a, this is a, this is a joke. This is a comedy stand. A real debate is, I don't even tell you what the topic. If somebody claimed to have a knowledge, why you need to know even the topic? This is what they do. They say, okay, today we want to talk about the Trinity. Okay, two months in advance. And the guy, he go and he uh, download 10,000 attack on the Trinity. And the other guy, the Christian guy, he download 10,000 which is defending the Trinity, and then they go in this in this in the in the stage, and they start reading what they what they what memorize before the debate. This is not a debate. All right. He can approve that I lost a debate. Uh, this is guy Abbas. He is seeking some spanking. Let us call him. Answer Abbas. He will say to me, I'm driving. Why you don't answer? Okay, just get lost. I have no time for kids. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? We are waiting for Sheikh Dudi. Anyone? Any Muslim, he have the courage and the knowledge to give us a call.
all the propaganda the Muslims they have for us is nothing but a lie and not only your you know not Muslims only propaganda for Islam even your leaders who you think they are Christians George Bush he said Islam is peace but he knew Islam is nothing but evil Obama was explained to us the benefit of Ramadan when Ramadan is not a month of fast fasting the Ramadan is the month of eating this is why in the month of Ramadan Muslims pr price of food in Islamic countries is skyrocketing why because they are eating more if people are fasting from using gas the gas price will go to zero very simple so why the price of food increase so crazy in Ramadan simply because they are eating like elephant or what they do they switch the eating time from day to night as simple as that they sleep all day they stay up all night and they eat like elephants in the month of Ramadan Muslims don't lose weight they gain a lot of weight It's a lie In the month of Ramadan, it's the month of hypocrisy. Oh, don't talk to me. I am fasting right now. I'm fasting uh, Really really a big deal. You have to tell you you have to tell everybody that he is fasting. I Mean that you have to know the neighbors have to know when I was a kid I used to go like there was a you know like a, a child with me in the school We are we are children's we go to his house the guy uh, his father. He wanna he wanna pray He opened all the windows in the apartment is a corner place So all the neighbors around they can see him inside the room praying and it's cold. I said to him Why are you that open windows? It's cold. He said because he's praying and I could not understand why I mean so what so why if he is praying he have to open the windows Because this is the way everybody will know that he is a praying Guys is my voice good Bad voice I guess this is from YouTube maybe Is it good guys? Maybe this is based on the server server you are uh, you know, I, I don't think it's from my side because remember before I start broadcast I said inshallah And there's no way the voice will go bad. Are you crazy? Are you saying to me? I said inshallah and still the internet is not good. It's impossible in the Middle East If we don't have electricity, we say inshallah electricity come but next year in the Middle East, if we don't have medicine, we say, inshallah, medicine come, but next century. In the Middle East, if we don't have anything good, we say, inshallah, war come. I mean, come on, you must be kidding me. You cannot be serious. Do you know the story of, uh, of uh, Solomon? He wanted to have sex with 99 women. And then... After having sex with 99 women If you know uh, Allah gave him only one child you want to do jihad Why Allah gave him half child who remember Anyone remember Guys Sheikh Dudi is buying grocery. This is what I've been informed by You believe it? I, I know it. <laughs> oh boy! I did I told you he's he's going to say no. I am going to have to buy a grocery. Here we go. He promised me he would call Shidudi, and now here we go. I became a prophet. Abdullah, slave of Allah, he sent me a message that he, the Sheikh Dudi is buying a grocery. Alhamdulillah And for sure he will be buying grocery for the coming century All right things happen my friend <laughs> Oh boy So anyway
according to the Muslim Islamic uh, religion prophet uh, 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 sometimes they say David sometimes sometimes they say Suleiman it doesn't matter uh, he decided to have jihad but he said to himself I'm going to have sex with 99 women today and I will make all of them written it so they can deliver to me sons we go and do jihad with them but he forgot to say inshallah and because of that Allah gave him half child this is the term Muhammad he used to describe a person who is in disability or in a special need you believe it for forgetting to say inshallah the poor prophet he was having sex all night But yet he made a big mistake. He did not say inshallah. So Allah punished him and gave him a half child, as Muhammad described. Obviously, this is a true story. Hmm. But you know, all the non Muslims they are not saying inshallah before they have sex. And they are not having, I mean, some people they might have a child with with uh, with special need, uh, which is, a, by the way, is I mean, it's not a curse. This is nothing. I mean, this is not have nothing to do with God cursing. But how in the world, Muhammad, he claimed that this man, he forgot to say inshallah, and because of that, Allah made him have only half a child. As Muhammad described him, half man, just because he forgot to say inshallah. Who is a Muslim when I call me and he will say, I believe in this story? Anyone? Not even one. Look like the Muslims are convinced that those stories are funny and stupid. So this is why nobody want to talk about it. Or maybe all of them they are doing buying grocery now. I mean it happened. Let us see if we can find the hadith because some Muslim they might say we are making things up. All right. <clears throat> Uh, let us go to the hadith okay here we go Allah Prophet Solomon who had 60 wives um, by the way the number changed depend in the in the mood of Muhammad when he want they are 60 when they want he are they are 80 when he want they are 100 when they want they are 90 depend in the mood so Allah Prophet Solomon who had 60 wife once said tonight tonight 
tonight. Tonight. I'm going to have sex with my 70, 60 wives. <clears throat> And look how confident he is. He will make them all a bread net in one night. I mean, this is even Christian Prince. He cannot do that. <laughs> in one night. Hold on, hold on. In different hadith here it says. Let us show you the other ones. By this one it says only 60. The other says 90. Let us see the 90. I like the 90 more. Okay. Oh, let's find you first the 70. <laughs> 70, 90, depending on the mood. Muhammad cannot remember the name he said last time. So sometimes it's 70. And by the way, all of those are Sahih. All of them, they are Sahih. Okay, right, look at this. The Prophet Solomon, son of David, said, Tonight I will sleep with 70 ladies. But here they are 60. I mean, eh, I mean, then it's not a big deal. Let it go. So tonight, I will sleep with 70 of my wives, each of whom will conceive the child, who will be a knight fighting for Allah. Suleiman is naked, naked, doing sex. Women after women. Next, next, who's next? Hey, Prophet, do you want to take a break? I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Man, 70 women. Let me get the calculator. I'm not good in mathematics. So if this is during the night time, let us say the night is eight hours, you know? So Suleiman, poor guy, I feel sorry for him. If this is hadith, it says 70. So 70 divided to eight, that's mean every eight minutes, uh, Suleiman, he have to finish. I mean, Suleiman must be a rabbit. Eight minute? You need that time to take off your shoes. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So Suleiman, brothers and sisters, Prophet Suleiman, peace upon him, he decided to have sex with all his wives. And then the brothers, after he started doing that again, that again with his wives, and he finished having sex with all of them. And by the way, Prophet Suleiman is very good in sex because all the prophets, Allah gave them very special power. They can have, they can, if, excuse my language, many, many women because they are prophets. Prophet cannot be like us. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> are you kidding me? He's a prophet, so his penis will not be like us. It's going to be 70 women in one night. Are, are you sure? I mean, don't you think this is a very small number? Only 70? Only. I mean, how humble. <laughs> Unbelievable. True story. And you are telling me Muhammad, he lie? Guys, please be honest with me. And you are telling me Muhammad, he always lie and he exaggerate and he no way, brother. Ninety women is in different hadith. Okay. Mm. <sighs> let it go. I mean, seriously, let it go. Now here you notice that. Suleiman, after having sex with seventy women, uh, I think uh, I think uh, Suleiman he was putting some uh, cold water next to him so he can cool down his. Uh... <clears throat> <laughs> unbelievable! 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 Like he put it there in the water, like. A hey, prophet. What is that? I see steam coming from the pot. Yes, I put my uh, stick in the water. It's very hot now. I just finished 40 women and it's getting really hot like a gun. So we have to cool it down, brother. <laughs> let it go. Let I mean, come on, show respect. Shame on you. A guy, he can have sex with 70 women. Why you are jealous? Hello? This is a true story. I mean, why you don't believe it? 
What's wrong with this story? And the Prophet, he said that this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So you cannot say this is a, this is weak or this is not uh, true or, you know, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. Let me show you the reference. Who want to see the reference? You want to see the reference? Sahih al-Bukhari. Three, four, two, four. Book 60, Hadith 96. Sahih. Authentic. This is a very authentic story. And the Prophet, he never, never lied. And by the way, thank you for those who made a donation. I hope your donation will increase my ability to have 70 wives. I think now I might be able to be a prophet of God because of uh, uh, we can we can afford to buy Viagra as an example, like the Prophet Muhammad. He invoked Allah and he Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. The first creator for Viagra in the world is Allah. I don't know how many of you know the story. How many of you know the story about uh, the first Viagra cooked in the kitchen of Allah? Anyone knows? Are you people, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Very few of you knows only. Yeah. Muhammad, he says, I was the most weak person between mankind. And then I invoke Allah and he sent me a dish. It's called Al-Kufayt. Al-Kufayt simply is like Kufta. You know Kufta? Did you hear the word Kufta before? So Allah, he sent him. A dish of alcohol, let me find the reference. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. I'm just trying to find you the reference. Hold on, give me a second. True story. True story. And by the way, this is accepted by Muslim Sunni and by Shia. Uh, let me see if I can find in English first. Uh, okay, look like we will not, yeah, it's not going to be easy to find it in English. So let us see here. Uh, Mm -hmm. We found it, but I want to find you the hadith where he says I was the most weak person between mankind. All right. Uh, All right, we found it. This is the book of Tabaqatul Kubra, volume number eight, page number one five five. Please take a note, Abdul. Zukira ma aatiya Rasulullah min al quwati fi jima, or zakr ma aatiya Rasulullah, mentioning what is given to Allah Prophet as a sexual power in effing. Me. May... 
Allah he gave him a special power to F women uh, uh, please uh, uh, burden me ladies I don't mean to be rude but that's what it says okay if you are not a person who like to hear this I'm talking about Islam so excuse my language I have no choice but to say the F word or blah 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 you know you know what I'm talking about it's not my fault I'm a victim here <laughs> So don't if you don't mind, please. I have to say to you a certain language because as you see, I'm reading what it says. We cannot. Oh, hold on. Yes, Abbas, how are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you? You are not Abbas. Yes, I am Abbas. Okay, so are you listening to yeah. us? Forgot quality. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I send you a message that I'm going to prove it to you that you have lost your debate, and you say you never lost. Okay, when I lost debate, my brother. Okay, you remember you have debated with Akil Ankyu last year. This is a he. I lost the debate. Mm, I'm going to prove it to you, and it's mm. from your own word. Mm. Really? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Right. Uh, remember, remember, you said to him, mm. Akil, in the middle of the debate, mm. and you said to him. I may I'm gonna make a prophecy today mm. that after this what happened to you you have lost to me mm. you're gonna make hundred videos after this mm. yes and he did hear that then you said now listen to me listen to mm. me let me finish mm. then you said if you have been this debate <clears throat> you will not make hundred videos mm -hmm. and you know what guess what guess what he didn't make hundred videos mm. He hardly make any video about the, that debate. So from your own mouth, mm. you said if you have won this debate, you will not make hundred videos. In fact, he did. He did many. He did many videos speaking about what happened. And you, you are say, a, you say, and you are a donkey. Videos. You can go. He can go to I his. You can go to his video. Secondly, if he say if he did not do, I just told him not to do it because now he said to himself, if this is true, Christian Prince, he said to me, if you make one hundred video about about this debate, it's mean you lost. So he will not do it uh, 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 if he's a smart. But in fact, he did. Now let me ask you. No, what he didn't. You know, he did, and he agreed that Allah. He said he that the black. Can, he agreed okay. that Allah. I when I, when I'm, I'm Abdul, 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 let right me let now. me tell you the summary of that debate. I challenge you. I, oh, let me. I, I will ask you to uh, to do me a favor. If you think that your your brother he won a debate, why you don't download his video and post it in your YouTube? Can you promise me to do that? What his video? Yes, the debate with me, me and him. Do you promise me to download it and post it in your video? Without cutting off. What do you want me to do? Download do want the video me? and post it in your YouTube. Can you do that? I told you I don't have YouTube, man. Why you make one? Don't you have Facebook? Uh, no, I don't use social media. You don't have you know, uh, okay. Now, Abdul, it was my time. Always we lose debate with Muslims. Now uh, answer me. Do you see that the Prophet said? No, but I just told you. I told you. No, that you know, you, this, you are being silly. Yeah? You know, your your ass is still red from yesterday. You forgot what happened to your chromosome yesterday. No. Just I know this this Aqil he don't even know how to say his prophet name correctly. He's a kid. He's a kid like you. Now answer. CB okay, CB CB CB. Everybody is laughing, my friend. Everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing, and let people judge anyway. Who care? Listen, listen, listen. Why you don't want to answer? Why you don't want to answer? You're trying to change the topic. Why you're a prophet? He's saying I was the me. Okay, don't, don't you're wasting my time. I have a topic. Are you going to answer or not? Okay. Well, okay. Why your prophet? Why your prophet? He said I was the most weak person between mankind and sex, and then Allah He sent me a dish. It's called al kufait and I ate it, and then since then, and I and I got it, and I found inside it a meat, and then after I ate it, I get the power of forty men. Do you agree with this? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm you showing it in the screen. I don't care if you don't know or not. This is what your prophet said that he invoked Allah. He was the most weak, weak person in the world in sex, which means Muhammad, your, your prophet penis, nothing can move it unless you turn the fan on. So, like nothing, you have nothing there. So and I'm not I'm not making fun by the way. This is what it says. I will read for you. It may highlight the line. Hello. فما أريد من ساعة إلا وجته وهو قدر فيها قدر فيها لحم and then he says لقين لقين جبريل قدر أكلته أكلت من منها وأعطيت الكفيت قوة أربعين رجلا في الجماع so جبريل came to me with a dish have have meat in it and after I ate it I get the power of forty men in sex what do you say 
Okay, there are two things here. First of all, what source is this? And secondly, do you have an English? Here? This is the book of At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra, variant number eight. And this is page number 155. I can give you. The, do you want me to give you? Hmm. Do you want me to give you the, the, the link in, uh, in, in the Skype? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, my friend. Uh, uh, let us pray to Allah to send you a dish of al kufayt so your internet will have the power of 40 internet. Now, do you agree but with this story? Stop using a stolen internet Wi-Fi from your neighbor. Come on, now answer me. What do you say? Why your prophet, he says such a stupid thing? That he was the most anyway, weak person. A, who, who's a scholar? Who's a, who's a scholar? What scholar? This is, this is your prophet speaking. Who's this scholar? is not a scholar. This is no, not a scholar. Written, written by who? At-Tabaqat al-Kubra? Yeah. Okay, is that will make a difference for you? Because this is a story oh, written okay. in many books. doesn't matter which book. At-Tabaqat al-Kubra, here we go. This is the book uh, in front of you. Okay, it's... Uh, it's uh, uh, if, the scholar, if the scholar is not a classical scholar... He is a classic. He's very, he's very classical scholar. What are you talking about? This is Ibn Sa'ad. Ibn Sa'ad. This is very well-known scholar. scholar. Yes. Uh, 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 لمحمد بن سعيد بن منبع الهاشمي البصري المعروف بابن سعد as you see the cover in front of you all right so uh, you're and by the way he is not the one is saying that he is just this is one of one of tons of books this is not only him there's you know this this is all over uh, we can show it to you from many uh, islamic uh, uh, website uh, so that, that one don't tell me cp i'm asking you now what kind of a prophet he says such a thing that this is this is a prophet of god and Allah, he gave him a power of sex. He was suffering. He invoked Allah. He asked him for help. He sent him a dish, have a shish kebab. And he ate it and he got the power of 40 men after he did. Is that true? Look, I think, yeah, I've spoke, you've spoken to me quite a lot, quite many times. I think by now you should know that I do not. I should know that you are a donkey. I know that. Don't call me. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Don't waste my time. Sheikh Dudi, he said he was going to call us, but now he is doing a grocery. I mean, what we can do? Sheikh Dudi doing grocery, and he sent me a message. I'm not making fun. Here we go. This is a message from Sheikh Dudi, my friend. He's supposed to call us, and not only that, he said you want some. Do you want some? So they threaten us that they will make Sheikh Dudi call us. And then Sheikh Dudi, he ran to the grocery store and he took a picture to prove that he is not running. I mean, come on, put yourself in his shoe. You are Sheikh Dudi and now you are going to call a Christian prince. And as you see, anyone can destroy a Christian prince. Let me prove to you that they destroy you. <laughs> All right. Do we have any Abdul? What kind of a prophet and what kind of God? You know, guys, here the story have many mistakes. Forget about that how stupid it is. I mean, Allah, I am the worst weak person in Jima. Allah, give me the power, Allah. And Allah, go what? Oh, Muhammad, my this is my favorite prophet. His penis is not working. Look at his penis. We have to turn the fan on. And even it's not moving after the fan, we turn it on. Muhammad the Prophet, he said, I was the most weak man. The lowest. That's what, what does that mean? Muhammad have he his penis not only suffering, he is the lowest. What, what, is, what does that mean? And then he invoked Allah. And here the power of Allah is coming. That's it. We 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 Allah, he received a phone call. Yes. Uh, my name is Dr. Dakin Nayak. I want to talk to Allah, please. Uh, what do you want? I'm going to report a case. About what? I cannot tell you. It's very private. I am Jibreel. You have to tell me. I'm the secretary of Allah. It's very private. It's about the peanut of the Prophet. Okay. 
about his penis. Are you serious? Absolutely. Hmm. This is a very serious issue then. That's really scary. Do you think like a nuclear war would happen? I'm not sure. Uh, because you are saying, you said the word penis, right? This is about the penis of the prophet himself. Absolutely. Hmm. Okay, stay with me in the line. I'm going to transfer your call to other angel. She is specialized in penises. Stay with me. Hello. Uh, my name is Dr. Dakin Naik, and I'm calling you in behalf of the Prophet Muhammad. Yes, how can I help you? Um, I'm not sure if I can talk to you because you are a female about this issue. Uh, okay, let me transfer you to other male angel. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I'm talking to who? I am Azrael. Uh, is it Azrael? Is the, is the angel who is specialized in death? Absolutely. I am the one who takes the souls. Oh, please. Uh, I, I forgot what I'm going to talk to you about because you are the angel of death. I have a very serious issue. Please transfer me to talk to Allah. It's about what? It's about the penis of the Prophet Muhammad. You must be kidding. Absolutely not. It's true. And the Prophet right now, his penis is useless. And he cannot have kids. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to talk to Allah and I will go back to you. I'm waiting. Breathe. Patiently. Now the angel, he go to Allah and they discuss together. And now Zakir Naik, he receive a call back. Tadadin, tadadin. Tadadin, tadadin. Assalamu alaikum. This is the angel Jibreel. Yes, angel, we are waiting for you patiently. Do you have a solution? Yes, we have a good news. Allah, he went to the kitchen and he bought a new microwave. He got it from Costco. And now he is cooking for the Prophet Muhammad a very special kind of shish kebab, but microwave style. And we will send the dish directly to the Prophet Muhammad. He have to eat from it three times before sex and three times after sex. Remember, three time, otherwise it's not going to work. And he have to mention the word inshallah. Absolutely. I'm going to write it down. By the way, I'm a doctor in case you do not know. I know who you are. This is why I said to you, remember, you have a good memory. Your name is Zachary Naik, right? Absolutely. I'm so happy that ended the breed. Even he watched my show. Uh, I did not watch your show. But sometime, we like to say some jokes. So we mention you. Thank you very much for remembering me. We are waiting for the dish of shish kebab. Now, Angel Jibreel, he come. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad, he answer, Who is this? At the middle of the night, he's coming to my house. I am Jibreel open. Jibreel, Jibreel. Welcome. What do you have for me? Is that from FedEx? Or Amazon what is that this is delivery from Allah it's a special meat you have to eat it immediately now eat it and you will get the power of 40 men the Prophet he said and he start eating the dish of the shish kebab his wife she said to him Prophet take it easy and why your penis is growing so fast I have no idea I just start eating and I see something moving there. <laughs> prophet, Prophet, look at your penis. It's making like a, a column in the tent. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, it's working. It's working. Takbir, Allahu Akbar, Takbir. Hey, wives, take off your clothes. Let us do jihad for the sake of Allah and we will have sex with all of you. I get the power of 40 men. <laughs>
I mean, and you are telling me that Muhammad is not a prophet. You must be suffering from mental illness. If Muhammad is not a prophet, why Allah he sent to him a dish of shish kebab? And the funny and different story they say is that his, his daughter, she ate from it. <laughs> Hold on. If Muhammad, he got the power of having sex with 40 because he ate from it and his daughter, she ate from it. Are you saying to me that she was having sex with 40 men a day? I mean an hour? <sighs> Actually, uh, in different hadith, it says the following. Let us see if we can fight in you in English. And the Muslim, they try to cover up for the madness in the story. They say, <clears throat> mm. look at this first of all. Muhammad, when he have sex with all his wives together, he don't even wash. The Messenger of Allah, be upon him, used to have sexual intercourse with his wives with single bath, which means he have sex with all of them, and then he finish. The Prophet used to visit all his wives in one night. At that time, he had nine wives. Let it go. The prophet used to pass by between two bracket have sexual relationship with all his wives in one night and at that time he had nine wives so that again that again that again then then that again that again that again then then that again that again that again then then you see what the dish of shish kebab can do now i want all the men they are watching us to be honest how of you is going to cook Shish kebab immediately. Hmm? Come on, be honest. How many of the men are watching now? They are going to go to the grocery store and order uh, uh, beef and make uh, kufait, kufta. All of you. Come on, come on! You cannot, you cannot fool us. We know this. You know exactly. You know this. You see, guys, this is the benefit of watching my program. You learn a lot of things secretly taught in the ancient Prophet Muhammad secrets. The Prophet, he got the power of forty men. Okay, hold on. He got the power of 40 men and now at this moment he have nine wives let me let me study this carefully so 40 men divided to eight hours and by the way this is it says in in in, in, in night in different hadith it says fi sa which means 20 minute sa today is sa the word sa in arabic today is equal to one hour, but in the old days they use the word sa to say between 15 to 20 minutes. So uh Muhammad he having he's having sex, he have the power of 40 men. That's mean in every in every hour, Muhammad he will have 32. Let's hold, hold on. No, what, what is that? 40 men. Divided to uh, nine. Okay, that's mean every wife will have the 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 pleasure of four orgasm. Mashallah, four. And by the way, the wives of Muhammad they will not have orgasm only Muhammad. And we can prove it. You remember the hadith where it says the wife of the prophet, she asked him if a woman she have orgasm, and he said, She said, Do women have orgasm? <laughs> no wonder he can have sex with all of them. <laughs> he could not make any of them have orgasm. So, all of this you will see here the Muslims speaking about praising Muhammad, how strong he is in sex, but he don't even wash. 
I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? It's very sexual. They are proud about their prophet that he have supposedly special energy and special power for sex. So you cannot be a prophet unless you have special kind of penis. And Allah will support your penis in case you are suffering from some problem. You know, once when the Jews... <clears throat> According to Muhammad, they accuse Prophet Moses that he have a problem with his penis. And you know how dangerous this is to be. So Allah Apostle said, the Prophet Moses was shy person and he used to cover his body completely because of his extensive shyness one of the children of israel one jew here we go the jew one jew from the israeli heard him by saying <laughs> he covered his body in this way only because he have some defect in his skin Either he have a leprosy or he have a scortal harina. I don't know what is that. I mean, how to say that word in English to forgive me, please. My English is not is not good. Or he has some other defect. Oh boy, he have some other defect. Maybe he have one ball. Allah wished to clear Moses. See, guys, Allah is listening. Somebody accused the balls of Musa to have a problem. Don't ever say that to a prophet Musa. This is very dangerous. So Allah, he wished to clear Musa of what they say about him. So Allah start thinking, how I can clear Musa, how I can clear the reputation of Musa, how, how. Bingo, he got an idea. So one day, sit down, kids, sit down. Bring your popcorn. Come on. This is a very big story for uh, bedtime. Okay. So, brothers, one day, while Musa was in seclusion, like, see, he don't like to take a shower with others, he took off his clothes. Oh boy. Musa now is naked. Hey, women, close your eyes and put them on stone. And he started taking a bath. When he had finished the bath, he moved toward his clothes as to take them. But the stone took his clothes and fled. <laughs> Me, what? And by the way, those stories are true stories, and they happen to us in the Middle East always. I mean, me myself. Once I was, the, you know, I was, uh, uh, you know, and uh, then I put my clothes in the, you know, no, and yeah, you know, and the, the car start moving by itself. I took my clothes, put them in the car, and I go to the car to take it. The car move, but in my case, it was a car. But in the case of Musa, the prophet Musa, it was a stone. Never trust a stone to put your clothes in. The prophet Musa. Who was accused by the Jews that he have a problem in his balls? Allah wanted to clear his reputation, and he decided to clear it by a miracle. So when Suleiman, sorry, when Musa start walking toward the stone, the stone took his clothes and fled. Musa picked up his, he, you know, he picked up his stick and run after the stone. Musa cannot pick up, he cannot run without his stick. He cannot, I mean, come on. Musa without a stick, it's impossible. So Musa, he picked up his stick and run after the stone saying, Oh stone, give me my garment. Oh stone, give me my garment. And by the way, this is story proving 
uh, to be true by a scientist his name is Yama I do Lima uh, sorry Yama I do Yama uh, like do Yama I do like not Dalai Lama come on Yama I do lie Yama from Japan It's proven, brother. It's proven. This is a true story. It's true. I mean, that's why I advise you, all of you. Oh, we have Victor. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, Sheikh Dudi. Maybe he's trying to call us. Hold on. The Dudi is here. <coughs> mm -hmm. Why you call me if you don't want to talk? Check duty. No, you call me. Talk to me. Don't tell me answer this. Check duty. Okay, I will block you then. Answer this. Coward. Stop. Uh, guys, Abbas, he said to me, stop quoting weak sources. <laughs> what? Stop what? Are you sure? This is Sahir Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari. Weak sources. Anything. Islam is weak. The Prophet penis is weak. Musa's stone stored in his clothes. I mean, I, you can't trust anything these days. Not only this day, since the time of Musa. So here we go. Musa, the poor guy, he put his clothes in the on a stone, and the stone is running away. But by the way, here we have a wisdom behind this story. Why? When Musa, he ran after the stone, he keep running, saying, "Oh stone, give me my garment! Oh stone, give me my..." But he's totally naked. His penis like left or right. Till he reached a group of Bani Israel. Man, oh man, look at the wisdom of Allah. Alhamdulillah. So now he reach, he is running naked in the street, and he reach the middle, the downtown, and they saw him naked. And everybody there, especially women, they said to him, Wow, man, his penis looks so. <laughs> Then they found him in the best what Allah is created. Did you guys did you see it says the best what Allah created? They found what they are talking about his penis. Brothers and sisters, it's a proven that Jewish penis is the best penis by the Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Musa's. He have the best penis ever created, brother. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. True story. So Allah in order to prove that Musa's have no harina in his balls, in his penis, he made uh, uh, Musa's run naked in the street and he ordered he order the stone to run away. And by the way, Look what happened. Look at the wisdom of Allah. When, when Moses arrived between the Jews and the Jews, they saw his penis, the stone stopped. No way. Look at this. Allah in control from heaven. Allah is moving the stone. The stone is moving. The stone is moving. Allah is watching. He have like a, like, you know, like, you know, I don't know, like wireless camera or something. He can see from far away, obviously. And he's controlling the stone, the stone running, 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 running. And then when Moses has arrived between the Jews and everybody saw that his penis is so good to be true. So good. Um, unbelievable. And then the stone stop. Like stop here. You know? Uh, stop. That's it. The stone even cannot move. Brother, do you know why? Because Allah, he stopped the stone from moving. Isn't it amazing, brother? Beyond imagination, brother. 
I feel sometimes when I watch this, it's like watching a movie about alien. Coming from the space. The black stone is a rock from the space. The penis of Musa is nothing like it. Allah, he controls rocks, stealing clothes. I mean, even Allah is a thief. You know, if the police was there, if the Jewish police was there at that time, aren't they going to arrest the stone and the stone will say the truth? That is not me, it's Allah. So what they will do now? They will arrest Allah? Hmm? I am so glad that Allah, he did not say, and the second the stone stop, it turned into a volcano. Alhamdulillah. Man. Allah now is controlling the storm from far away. Sending winds to push the stone maybe. Or maybe magnetic field. Or you know what? Maybe it was not a stone. Maybe it was a robot, but we do not know at this time. Unbelievable. I am truly, truly convinced that Allah is God. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim? Guys, we have, why we have only 920 people since two hours? I mean, the number is not moving. It's impossible. Do we have any Muslim want to call us? May they, may they. Who is first time in our channel? I advise you not to continue watching because you will become addicted soon. I'm telling you, you will become addicted. So you better leave. And you might even convert to Islam, brother. Look at this wisdom of the Prophet Muhammad and those are true stories. It's not only true stories, it's authentic resource and proving that Allah is a true God. And not only this, look at here, look at here, guys. Moses, when he arrived at the stone and the stone stopped, Moses start doing something unbelievable. Anyone notice with me what Moses is doing? Moses now is angry. And when Moses is angry, he hit anything in his way. He start hitting the stone. Boom. If I, I don't blame him, if I am him, this stone made me run, God knows for how long, maybe two mile, three mile, we do not know. Until he arrived downtown and he have no clothes in him, his penis is like, vish, vish, vish. and then the stone now stops. So Moses, he took a stick, he took his garment on. And he start hitting the stone with his stick. Did you see it? And not only that, Muhammad he swear and he says, "By Allah, the stone still has some trace of the hitting." <laughs> Uh, uh, boy. Uh, somebody called the police we have a, uh, we have a domestic violence hmm? hello and you are telling me that this is not a prophet of God you must be crazy Yeah, actually, this is true. You know, in the Middle East, we we are, we are very strong. You know, Middle Eastern, like me. You know, guys, let me tell you this is a story. story. Uh, once I did hit a, a mountain with my stick, and the mountain like be like uh, uh, destroyed. 
it was a mountain of rice like I put a mountain of rice into my table and I hit it with my stone and then psh, uh, the hole is gone true story it's proven <clears throat> now who is a Muslim when I call us and tell us something good about Allah <clears throat> Uh, we have a question from a lady in Skype. She said, uh, "What is how the Muslim that like they say this hadith is weak and this hadith is rejected and etc." Uh, let me make it simple for you. All what they claim it's called science of hadith is a lie. Muslims reject any hadith make Muhammad look bad. If you go to the book of Ibn Ishaq. You will find from the beginning he says anything is not suitable to fit with the prophet name we took it out so this is after filtering so they have a decision that we will filter anything will make muhammad look stupid so those hadith we're not taken off because simply it doesn't make muhammad look stupid at that time people believe in those fiction stories And today the Muslims they wish they can take them off, but it's too late. However, the Muslim they play a new game today. Anything you say to them is embarrassing to Muhammad, they will say it's weak, but weak, even weak hadith is accepted. It's not rejected. And when a Muslim he says to us that Islam is based on two things Quran and the Sunnah and the Sunnah is based on what and what Muhammad did and what Muhammad said So if you say to me, there's a lot of corruption In the hadith then how we will know if Islam is correct or not if you are saying to me that this is a hadith and it's full of corruption hey, Hello Can you take my friend can you talk? Hello. The gentleman he is to, according here. He is a person who left Islam because he watched my videos. I, he said to me in text, but looked like he have a he is using some security um, method to hide his identity. So the microphone is not working. Uh, he can he can leave a voice message. I don't know if he can do that. Uh, send me a voice message. I will play it. As long as his mic is not working, the poor guy he tried to call us many times. Do we have any Muslim? He is a proud to be a Muslim. <clears throat> Actually, Erdogan, uh, he made a conference uh, already. Actually, I think three conferences already. And the purpose of this conference is to delete all the bad stories in the hadith. So they are trying today to filter all the garbage in the hadith because the prophet uh, words is embarrassing. And they are saying there's no way the prophet is going to say that. But this is authentic source was, was authentic, considered authentic for centuries. Why now it's not authentic? For more than a thousand years, it was authentic, and now it's not. Because today, people are more educated, and they will laugh at this. So in order, you see, like uh, when somebody quotes something for me from the Bible, and it does not fit with the word today, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I say I don't accept it. This is what it says. I'm not going to say this is da'if. Muslims when they deny those stories is because they knew that this is embarrassing Hello Hello, Christian, please. Yes can, How you, are you? can you mute you too, please? Uh, okay, sorry one minute <laughs> It's okay. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. Um, Are you a Muslim? Yeah. No, I'm not going to, I'm not here to, for any debate, but I just want to. No, no, are you a Muslim? Some... Are, you, are you a Muslim? I mean, I'm, I'm not a Muslim. <laughs> not, not oh, okay. What yeah. do you think about Muhammad? Uh, what do I think about Muhammad? Let me ask you a question. Sir. No, no, why you don't ask me? What do you tell me? What do you think about Muhammad? As long as you're a Muslim. I didn't tell you I was a Muslim. I said I am not, but. I'm so, that's what I'm saying. What do you think about Muhammad if you're saying you are not a Muslim? What do you think about Muhammad? That is exactly what I wanted to ask you. I'm asking you a very simple question. What do you think about Muhammad? Is he a prophet or is not? Well, the Muslim claim is a uh, uh, This is not the question. Prophet. I'm asking you, do you think he is a prophet? You, you, do you think he is a prophet? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, you're not know. sure. Oh, okay. All I right. don't know. Hmm. So you are a Muslim who is not sure? I am a Muslim by birth, oh, okay. but I'm not a practicing Muslim. Oh, all right. Okay. I, now I, I get. just okay. want to ask you one okay. question. Mm -hmm. If you are born a Muslim, suppose you say were born a Muslim, would you have had another idea, a different idea? Yes, absolutely. Because simply, if you are if you if you are born uh, uh, according to your prophet, everyone is born as a Muslim anyway. Correct. Okay. Okay. What I mean, you you were born into a Christian house, mm. home, brother. Hmm. So if you are born into